Hello, this is the Hacker 007, and today I'll be showing you guys how to install Windows 8 Enterprise Edition, which is the 90 day trial, onto a VMware player, and we'll install it into a virtual machine. So uh, let's get started, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Alright, everyone, so you obviously need the two files. Um, you'll need VMware Player, which you guys can download from this link. I'll have this in the description below. Just download the top one. This is the one for Windows. If you are doing this on a Linux or any other platform, you can go ahead and scroll down for the other options. But if you are using Windows, just hit the download one at the top. The next thing you'll need is the obviously Windows 8 Enterprise. So go ahead and go to the other link in the description below. Scroll to the very bottom and you can go I download 32 bit version or the 64 bit version. Um, I would suggest downloading the 32 bit version because most of you guys will not be using over 3 gigabytes of RAM and um, it's a much smaller download. So just click it and then you can get started with the download. I obviously already uh, downloaded both. The Firmware install is pretty easy. Just press next a couple times. It will ask you to restart. Go ahead and restart. Uh, I won't guide you through that either. But once you're done with that, guys, you guys can go ahead and once you have installed it, you guys should see you have this file right here, which is this is the 32-bit uh, version of Windows 8 Enterprise. You guys can see that it is 2.37 gigabytes. So it might take you an hour or so to download, or half an hour if you have a fast connection. So once you've downloaded though, go ahead and open up VMware Player. The program by default does take a bit to load, um, but that's just the program's natural stuff like that. So for you, for, the, for those of you who do not do not know what VMware is, uh, VMware is a program that creates virtual machines. Uh, a virtual machine is a basically a computer in a box. I'd like call it that. Is a virtual computer running on your computer. So you guys will understand a little more after at the end of this tutorial. So go ahead, guys, from here, just hit create a new virtual machine. Click install this image, hit browse and browse to it. It will probably say that you cannot detect what operating system this is. Do not worry about that, guys. Go ahead, hit next. Click Microsoft Windows, then scroll down to the bottom, or sorry, to the top, very top, and click Windows 7. Now click Next. So it's going to ask you for a product key. Um, do not give it a product key. It's not, it's not, you don't need one for this one. So just leave, leave uh, you can change that to whatever you want. So I will change it to the Hacker 007. And I don't suggest putting a password. But then anyway, once you've failed that out, again, don't put a product key. Click next, and it says you will not enter one, so it says you will have to do it later. Click yes again. So, uh, virtual machine name, I'll name it Windows 8 test, and then you're going to uh, location, by default it will give you one. Um, I'm going to do it somewhere else. I put my virtual machines on a separate hard drive. So, um, if you don't want to do that, you can just go ahead and skip this part of the video so again guys for most of you guys you guys can, it'll just be normal uh, by default it, it saves it into your documents folder click next again so this is where you're gonna uh, choose so go ahead and click store virtual disk into a single file and then you're going to choose how much you want, um, how many gigabytes. Now, if you're just testing it out, 20 gigabytes is fine. If you actually plan on using it a lot, um, I'd actually install it. But since you guys are probably just going to test it out, I'm going to go with 20 gigabytes. Not 200. So just put 20 next. And just click finish. Alright, so after this, I will uh, 
let it record, but I won't be talking because I'll just be showing you guys through here. So, first time you put it full screen, it's not going to go like full full screen. Uh, but this is because you have to install some little tools after so that it can actually go span your whole screen. So I will pause the recording until some actual... Uh, oh, there we go. Never mind. So, it's going to have the only operating system available. Go ahead and click Next. And this is where I'll start doing its stuff. So I will uh, let it record. Alright, so guys, you guys can see, once it has getting that, so once you get to this part right here, just hit click restart now. Otherwise, it'll just do a seven or 10 second countdown and then restart by default. So now we have the uh, restarting of our virtual machine. I'm not speeding this part of the video up if you're wondering. The actual circle just speeds up for a couple seconds there. Sorry guys, this, this is kind of boring, but any second now it should start into our little part where it tells us different stuff. So here we go, this is getting devices ready. This won't take too long as because this is a virtual machine so it doesn't have too much um, stuff to do. Now by default guys this computer, this virtual machine will have 1 gigabyte of RAM. So if you do have a netbook that only has 2 gigabytes of RAM, um, this, will pro this will basically take up half your RAM. So um, I would suggest having doing this on a computer a little more with like three gigabytes or more. Uh, this computer I'm doing it on, the actual computer has 32 gigabytes. So taking the one gigabyte away, putting it into the virtual machine, does not affect performance at all. Although it only has one gigabyte of RAM, um, the computer is not actually, the virtual machine isn't slow at all. And so here we go, we'll start with our presentation. It says hi. Um, basically, while it's setting up, it's going to tell you different things. So it basically gives you a little, very, little tutorial. So after your PC is ready, if you move your mouse into any corner, so like that right there, uh, you'll have the little charm bar come up. So now you actually have to move your mouse into any corner, I believe. Oh, there you go. So let's start. So now you guys can see this is how it's pull a 7. And we have gotten into our desktop. Now you guys will have noticed that it is a little small. Um, all the thing works, so here you go. So if you go to your desktop, you guys will see that Vermar Tools is doing its thing right now. This is how you're going to get your uh, full screen. So I will give you a guide through this, and that will be the end of this video. So it installs unnecessary drivers, etc., stuff like that, that will uh, make sure it works properly. So before you do anything, make sure you do all this. Make sure you let, let it install. So we got, we got our first um, new... Oh, there we go. So you guys can see we have our first new notification. So once it does that, it will force restart.
this is a great way guys to test out Windows 8 especially if you're not sure you want to buy it or not obviously this is the enterprise edition so this isn't the final preview but this isn't the final uh, product obviously there will be some tweaks but uh this is one of the main this will probably be very similar to the final build so here we go so now uh you guys can see now it does the, now it does do the full screen all right so now you guys can see we're in our uh, windows 8 desktop or sorry metro ui or whatever they want to call it nowadays so you guys can see it fully fully functional internet works i believe yes it does all right so that's about mm, sound does work too but that's what it guys for this video uh, i really do hope you guys like the video drop a like if you do and besides that guys have a great day and by the way if you ever get stuck in here just go to put your mouse at the top it'll pop up like this and you can go like this and then to close the machine it's just like uh normal so go to the corner here go to uh start and you can shut down from here or go ahead and shut down however you like so go to power and shut down and then once you, once it is completed shutting down it will automatically close so that's it guys that's what it for this video guys drop a like again if you uh helped you out and besides that have fun testing out windows 8 this is the hacker 7 i'm signing off